Parts like fan blades are designed in their final aerodynamic shape, but are manufactured from a flat profile. Creating that exact profile is extremely difficult unless you have an analysis tool like on shapes flatten surface. The surface is flattened using an algorithm that minimizes strain. The checkerboard option provides a visual indication of the quality of the flattened surface. The lines are always straight on the flattened surface, and the lines on the original fan blade surface look well parameterized, so the quality is good. Another indicator is the level of distortion that shows better on the next example. Staying with an aerospace theme, this nose rib, when flattened, will show a lot of distortion at the front. The colour scheme is relative and does not provide an exact figure related to the distortion, but the blue colours indicate where the material is stretched and the red colours indicate where the material is compressed or creased. To reduce the amount of creasing in this area, it might be good to reduce the strain by ripping a number of edges of the part. Now we can see the result is much better. The next example, a helmet, shows how powerful the flattened surface tool is. If you wanted to wrap the top of this helmet with a covering, the result, with the distortion colours overlaid, shows you where creasing may occur. If you've ever tried to wrap something like this as a present, you already know. For decals, where you want the final shape to be constant, or you want it to appear to be a specific shape from a certain angle, the flattened surface tool creates a very accurate final result to work from. Use the split face feature to define the shape and the area of the decal you need, then select all the resultant surfaces, and as long as they are contiguous, the Surface Flatten tool will give you the required result. The distortion map shows there is minimal stretching or creasing. For applications like paint protection film, a mesh from a scan of a vehicle can be used. The flattened surface will appear on the XY plane by default, so a mate connector can be used to reposition it. The distortion here appears where you expect it to be, but the colour map on the original surface is useful to determine where the problems may be. Finally, an example of a formed sheet metal bracket. Surface Flatten is an analysis tool, so it does not create a feature in the feature list, but you can export the results in a number of useful file formats for downstream operations.